All right, so we're going to take a look at the uh, latest video release from Aptera. This one's titled Aptera Update, April 21st, Aptera on the track. They released this yesterday morning, uh, and um, I've already taken a look at it, uh, one look at it, actually a couple of looks at it, <laughs> and uh, I wanted to uh, watch it again and kind of give my, my thoughts on you know what I'm seeing. Uh, it's important to me that I'm honest about what I'm seeing, uh, whatever the developments are with Aptera. Um, very excited to see uh, how, what comes out of the project. As they go through the different iterations, I'm excited to see how these guys progress and how, how, how well the vehicle progresses over time. So let's take a look at the video and I'll go back over it and give you my thoughts. All right, let's go. Hey, just wanted to give everyone an update on our recent track testing. We had a great day out at the Barona drag strips testing the Aptera for durability and speed and braking and all the fun things that make Aptera the kind of performance vehicle that you'll want to be in. Uh, the main goal of the day was really just to shake these Alpha vehicles out to make sure that they're safe to drive on the roads around San Diego. We're still tuning our LaFe motors and the control systems that run them, so it was great to be out on the track to be able to get some live data and see how they perform under stress. And we wanted to see how our lightweight vehicle handled in aggressive braking scenarios. And to be honest, the results were just amazing, as you'd expect from a very light uh, aerodynamic vehicle that has tons of regenerative torque. We ran some basic moose test scenarios where we had some aggressive handling that uh, proved that the Aptera is very well balanced, even though we're just at the beginning of our suspension development. Uh, acceleration, braking, handling, we're all above expectations. And we can't wait to spend the next few months with our engineers and vendors to design beta units that are even better. Now, the stability is great under high speed stressful situations. And we know that by adding a sway bar and tuning the suspension more, things are only gonna get better. Our acceleration test went very well. We know that working with our partners in Slovenia at Alafe, the motor tuning will only get better and we'll see acceleration times increase as we bring in our own battery technologies too. All right, so there was a lot in that video. A very short video, first of all. I wish it was uh, a lot longer. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I wish uh, I got to see a lot more of this. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. You know, it's, it's the early stages and they just want to kind of give you up like a backstage pass to kind of show you what they're doing behind closed curtains. And I thought it was pretty cool. And I appreciate that they do that. I hope they're going to be doing a lot more because uh, the way I look at these uh, video releases that Aptera is doing is a lot like it's a lot like uh, the reasons why I watch these uh, Starship launches. So like, you know, if you take a look at what SpaceX has been doing, they've been doing a bunch of Starship launches. And uh, what's cool about that really is they don't really care whether or not they succeed or fail in the, in the test itself because to them, you know, they understand what they're trying to do. They have a longer, uh, they have a longer view of what they're trying to accomplish. And so even the failures to them, you know, are great opportunities to learn and they want you to kind of go along on the ride. You know, I mean, literally, you've seen, you know, you've seen the starships blow up on the launch pad. You've seen them blow, blow up, um, you know, as they come back down. You've seen them blow up in the, in the sky, you know, like, well, you didn't see that one because that one was, <laughs> they kind of la launched that one in the fog. And so you didn't see that one, but you saw, you saw the after effects. So, but anyways, you know, the point is that, you know, watching these uh, Aptera videos or watching, or the reason why I hope Aptera will release a lot more of these types of videos is that it kind of gives us a view of what's happening there. We kind of get to see them uh, learn from uh, you know every effort they put in. So we kind of get to see how they progress over time. And building a car, building the kind of car that they're trying to build is extremely tough. They're building essentially a one-of-a-kind three-wheel vehicle that can go extremely, extremely far. And not only go extremely far, but go very fast. And not only go very fast, very far, but also do it uh, at a very low cost and consuming very little energy. So there's a lot going on. And I, you know, I fully 100% support Aptera for going down this track. I think it's an awesome track. You know, I love the fact that they're really focusing on the efficiency side of things. And one thing I, I believe goes extremely well with the efficiency side is giving a hell of a car, a very powerful car, a very fast car. And the reason why, <laughs> the reason why I think giving you a, a, a very fast car that performs extremely well and maybe even has some fantastic tech inside, the reason why I think this is so important is because you can get away with design. If you, you can get away with um, non-traditional designs if you give someone 
a product that they're just amazed by when it comes to performance. So if the performance of the product amazes uh, people, they'll overlook whatever design you give them. Okay, because what happens is uh, we're, we get used to a specific type of design when it comes to uh, an object, whether it's a ball or a chair or a television, whatever it is, you know, we get so used to um, particular designs that when there's a dramatic change in the, the design, we get thrown off and we automatically make um, we automatically make assumptions about the product, you know, as far as whether or not we think it's any good based on the change in the look. And so by ha- giving you a car that performs extremely well, it kind of overrides that part of your brain that wants to judge it on the looks. And um, you'll, you'll be willing to give the Aptera a chance, regardless of how it looks, if someone tells you or you get to see how, how great it performs. So I'm going to go back and, and kind of show you some of the things that I see here. Any criticism is about the product that you hear coming from me is uh, basically uh, wanting this product to be the best version of Aptera as possible. So uh, let's go back and take a look at this and let's let's call it like we see it. Uh, and again, I'm not a professional at this. So if you guys are watching this and you see something I missed, please point it out. All right, because that's important. I'm not a pro at this, and I'm sure like uh, there's a bunch of you guys out there watching this video that understand way more about what's happening than I do. So please leave a comment below. Uh, you know, inform us, let us know what you see, and let's talk about it, and let's see how we can help Aptero improve this vehicle. And um, you know, maybe they already have some plans in mind to, to to fix a lot of these things that we're seeing. But you know, us giving them our feedback and them uh, looking at what's happening in the community. Uh, it's going to be a great combination. That's what's going to give us a, a, great, a great performing car. So let's go back and take a look at this and let's call out what we see. Hey, just wanted to give everyone an update on our recent track testing. We had a great day out at the Barona drag strips, testing the Aptera for durability and speed and braking and all the fun things that make Aptera the kind of performance vehicle that you'll want to be in. Uh, the main goal of the day. Looking at this launch, I don't know whether or not, you know, they were going down full throttle, uh, but um, or maybe it's the angle I'm looking at. I don't know. But it doesn't look like you get that same feeling of like your head being, you know, thrown back against the seat that you get when you ride like in a, let's say, let's call it like it is, like in a Tesla. So I'm hoping that it was, you know, either it wasn't a fast acceleration or these guys are so used to going hard in this car that it's like, oh yeah, just another day at work. But I do want to see, I would I would love it if they kind of gave us uh, some of the numbers that they were running uh, when, they're, when they were uh, shooting this video. So we can get, you know, more... Uh, that way we could have more of a feel of like, you know, what the day was like and you know what the conditions were like uh, during the, uh, the video shoot. Day was really just to shake these alpha vehicles out to make sure that they're safe to drive on the roads around San Diego. Uh, we so looking at this overhead shot, it doesn't look like it was a very quick launch. It looks like they were just kind of testing it out, you know, going gently on the car just to see, you know, how well it rides. It could even be that they were just testing uh, the cameras because uh, there's a guy on the ground and of course we see that there is a drone in the sky so maybe they were just testing out the equipment to see how well uh, it could perform you know so this may have been a calibration test to see how well the equipment would, would perform while the vehicle's running so i don't think this was a full speed test we wanted to do aggressive braking aggressive handling and obviously some accelerations we're still tuning our LaFe motors and the control systems that run them. So it was great to be out on the track to be able to. All right, I gotta tell you, I love hearing those tires squeal. So that, that tells me that there's a lot of torque going down in that road and it's trying to grab onto something, but those wheels just wanna fly away. And one thing I noticed as well is that whenever I see uh, Aptera doing the test, the windows are always open. So I don't know if they're still working on the, um, H the HVAC system. Maybe it's not fully functional yet or maybe they turned off the HVAC system so that they could save some energy. I would love to see the windows up because if you're doing a speed test, you know, windows up would be best, I would assume, since you have less, uh, you know, it's better for, it's, it would be better for aerodynamics, that's my assumption, but um, maybe they have good reasons for it. But it is something that I've noticed, you know, there's the windows down on a lot of these, uh, the, the uh, promotional uh, videos. get some live data and see how they perform under stress. We got some amazing initial results and even did uh, some drag. All right, so obviously the Aptera has some power. You can kind of see the, the, this guy on the passenger side kind of waving, let's go, let's go. And uh, he steps and they floor it and it transitions to an overhead shot. And you can see that how quickly it pulls away from the Chevy Bolt. 
Uh, and of course, of course, Chevy Bolt is not a you know exactly uh you know the, the Chevy Bolt is not exactly a race car. So I'm, I wasn't expecting the Chevy Bolt Chevy Chevy Bolt to uh, you know to keep up with the Aptera, but it does give you a good idea of how fast uh, the Aptera can be. Uh, it, and again, this is already prototype stages, and it's still pretty exciting to see that drag races. And we wanted to see how our lightweight vehicle handled in aggressive braking scenarios. And to be honest, the results were just amazing, as you'd expect from a very light uh, aerodynamic vehicle that has tons of regenerative torque from the in wheel. All right. So this is the first part that I'm seeing, which has me a little concerned, but I think they address it almost immediately. So this is a braking test, right? So they're going to they're gonna hit the brakes very hard and see how long it takes for the car to stop. And if you notice, when they when they slam on the brakes, uh, the left, sorry, excuse me, the rear end of the car kind of kicks left a little bit. So you'll notice, you know, let me go back a couple seconds. You'll see that. It's a regenerative torque from the end. Right there. So like as soon as, um, as soon as, you know, the as soon as the driver slams onto the brakes, you can kind of see the rear kick left. And I think, you know, he, I think uh, they kind of go over that a little bit. I think Chris kind of explains it in, in a little bit. He uh, mentions that one of the things that they're going to add is uh, sway bars, torsional bars. I think what might be happening is the power distribution in, uh, between the driver's side and, left and the passenger side are, are different. And so, you know, you have one side that's basically has more torque than the other. And so the body is rolling, you know, uh, to one side. So adding a sway bar would counteract that on the opposite side. So that would give it more balance. So hopefully adding a sway bar to the vehicle will um, will fix some of that issue. I don't know if it'll fix all of the issue, but I hope it, it'll fix some of that issue. Something else I wanted to point out. This is just a weird fantasy. I don't even know if this is practical in real life. But whenever I take a look at the Aptera from the rear end, I look at the rear, uh, the third wheel, the, the, that third tire, and I kind of wish it could rotate independently. I wish it could, you know, kind of turn left or turn right, independent of the the body. And I wonder if whether or not that would help to the stability. Obviously, that would help. That would add to the complexity, and that would add to the cost. But I wonder if that would improve the vehicle ride if the third wheel can counter steer or steer with the vehicle, depending on the situation. Um, just, just the thought, you know, I don't even know how practical that would be to accomplish whether, you know, that, how, how much that would change the entire pricing of the car. So this is just the thought, you know, if it was possible to, if the, the third wheel can, could shift, could turn left or turn right independently of the, of the body or independently of the, the two front wheels or in conjunction with the two front wheels. Um, I wonder if that would help the ride handling in, in any way. Uh, it definitely would would allow the car to do more tricks, <laughs> but uh, I think it would actually help out with the uh, handling. That's just a thought. So maybe somebody knows out there. And again, that's what that comment section is for, guys. If you hear me saying stupid stuff and you're like, oh, God, please never say that again, just <laughs> leave a comment below. These are just my thoughts. Uh, so let's continue watching this. Well, motors. We also wanted to see how the Aptera would perform under aggressive handling situations. So we ran some basic moose test, test scenarios. Where so watching this moose test, it's obvious the vehicle is pretty stable. When they when he does correct, the rear does shift, does kick out to the left, but the car is very stable. If you take a look at those front tires, you know it's it's picking the direction the car is going to move in, and the third wheel follows it. So that is very nice to see. I'm going to run that again because it's actually really cool. Some basic moose test scenarios where we had some aggressive. Yeah, that was pretty nice. So let's take a look at it from the front because that looked pretty good. You know, the car, you know, went left. The wheels wanted to, to kick out more That's and uh, right back to where it's supposed to go. Very well balanced, even though we're just at the beginning of our suspension development. The overall results of our first track day is that the Aptera Alpha units are performing spectacularly. Uh, acceleration, braking, handling, we're all above expectations. Now, okay, so... This is not a full moose, moose test, obviously. This is a, a half of a moose test because now that you've shifted out into the opposite lane, you do still need to come back into your lane. So I would like to see a complete moose test. But again, this is the first time out on track, you know, but from what I'm seeing so far, I do see a, a vehicle that's going to be, uh, I do think this is going to be a very ro uh, roadworthy vehicle. And uh, it's just a matter of how good can it be? And I want to see the Aptera be the best vehicle it can. 
so if you guys are seeing other things that I'm not pointing out, please uh, let's give our you know honest feedback and hope that you know someone from the company sees it and uh, maybe they'll show us where we're wrong or maybe they'll improve on it. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, let's go. And we can't wait to spend the next few months with our engineers and vendors to design beta units that are even better. One of the things that really excited me was the handling of the Aptera in this very early alpha stage. Now the stability is great under high speed stressful situations. The vehicle is very balanced and feels comfortable to drive. And we know that by adding a sway bar and tuning the suspension more, things are only going to get better. Our acceleration test went very well. The Aptera is brisk under acceleration and it's pretty exciting to drive. We know that working with our partners in Slovenia at Alafe, the motor tuning will only get better and we'll see acceleration times increase as we bring in our own battery technologies too. All right, what was awesome there is, you know, Chris letting us know that they are, they are bringing in their own battery systems. Of course, Chris ran Flux Power. Uh, I don't know if they're talking about just the batteries themselves or they're talking about the batteries plus the battery management systems. I would love to see more uh, from the company. And we are seeing more, so I'm hoping that trend continues. So I hope everybody enjoyed watching this episode. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. And again, hit us on Patreon. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.